good day to all of you greetings from india i am avinash along with me hemant and akhil would be presenting the paper mapping of cognitive skills and competencies through extra curricular activities of an engineering graduate to comply with employer expectation a quantifiable approach as you all know cognitive skills of fresh graduates include problem solving skills decision making processes and other activities which are there the practice of outcome based education in the professional institute has given a great momentum for attainment of student learning outcome the paper proposes a quantifiable approach for capturing the competencies from the perspective of an employer the graduate attributes have been made into a mnemonic we call it as kadi meet chami and these competencies are taken care of such that they are measurable in one form or the other during competitions it is easy for any employer to see the students in action and with the view of the attributes which they are mainly interested in and they require at the industry at the industry or they are at the floor level so sometimes some things like use of modern tools having the teamwork part which will be there good communication skills project management and finance all these can be attributed or quantified with this method which we have tried to propose as far as the key performance indicators and the key skills indicators are there these can also be mapped so that the graduate attributes can be addressed too hello and greeting hemant joshi here presenting about methodology we have used key indicator mapping matrix method to map performance indicators as per academia and skill indicators as per the employer's perspective now whatever the graduate attributes as said by international engineering alliance in align with washington accord is derived derived to kpi and graduate employer attribute attributes as per employer's perspectives are derived to ksi and these two are mapped and quantification process is done the students whom so are participating in tech competitions and extracurricular events the performance crit evaluation criteria as per professional bodies is taken into account to define project competition outcomes and these project competition outcomes are correlated with kpi so that we can get the problem solving competency score according to washington accord we have 12 graduate attributes out of that first row knowledge analysis design develop solutions and investigation denotes to problem solving skills two step process is defined as per aict all india technical council where graduate attributes are derived to graduate competency which are indicating different abilities implied by gs and these are again derived to kpi key performance indicators so that fine tuning with course outcomes can be possible for example i have stated here one uh, derivation of first graduate uh, competency that is engineering knowledge into four competencies mathematical modeling competency in basic sciences engineering fundamentals and specialized engineering courses the key performance indicators as per as 1.1 competency is concerned are four and while deriving these key performance indicators taxonomy approach is also applied the graduate employee attributes as per pro, uh, employer's perspective are derived as a five based on the literature review and discussion with hr professionals 
वन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल कम्युनिकेशन स्किल आईसीटी एक्सपोर्टर नॉलेज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल एंड टीम वर्क हवे एवर वी आर फोकसिंग ओनली ऑन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स एज द फोकस ऑफ स्टडी इज लिमिटेड टू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल डोमेन सो अंडर दिस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल डोमेन वी हैव थ्री प्रोफेशनल कॉम्पिटेंसीज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग एंड क्रिएटिविटी एंड फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग की स्किल इंडिकेटर्स आर 1.1 to 1.4 in again in which the taxonomy approach is applied rest all indicators and uh, mapping indicators are explained in paper in full length now the main point is the students are appearing and participating in professional events which are organized by lead societies and many prestigious organizations the main purpose behind is to expose the students for real life setting so that is the main point where the significance of this competitions is experiential learning is quite good in uh, workplace then they are exposed to real life problem which is also interdisciplinary and one important point is all the uh, experts are all the evaluation criteria is defined by the body and assessment by the third party that means experts from the industry so definitely outcome is quite good as far as real life working or uh, working in real life setting is there uh, there are so many professional bodies organizing so many international events globally the main are i have mentioned here however there are n number of professional bodies prestigious bodies organizing these events but we are focusing only on one event that is organized by sai society of automotive engineering and we are focusing on formula sai for the study purpose so here is the rules and regulations that made by formula si they have set some objectives out of given objectives i have selected only two because those are related to our uh, scope that is problem solving skill then based on these objectives and whatever the uh, rules regulations exp expressed in the rule book of the uh, professional body whatever based on the evaluation criteria we have defined project competition outcomes pcos those pcos are nine and based on their static and dynamic event and all other preparations and again limiting our focus to problem solving skills these nine pcos are defined by uh, by us important point is all these nine pcos are mapped with key skill indicators as per the employer's perspective and they are also mapped with key performance indicators as we have established in academia so this mapping exercise is very important so as to define the quantifiable approach and to propose the analytics to find out competency score now here is the idea how we have defined the competency score all the gas as per the academia ga number 1 knowledge ga number 2 problem analysis design development then investigation and usage of modern tools are used to find out the competency score now the percentage mentioned in parenthesis are the percentage contribution and it is divided based on the importance and ability to be uh, mostly resembling with problem solving skill so higher weightage is given to ga number 2 analysis ga number 3 design development ga number 4 investigation and supporting weightages are given to knowledge and usage of modern tool while solving the problem we will find that the sum of this percentages is 100 and for this each kpi indicator under each competency a weightage is applied in mentioned in parenthesis the sum of this weightage 0.15 0.2 0.35 0.3 is equal to 1 then competency score is found by one simple equation summation of c percentage contribution here into i weightage here into x this will give me a score and that score is divided in four levels of proficiency as explained where x is the grade allotted by expert of the event which is industry expert based on the performance of each students in pco what we have defined for the illustration we have defined one case to guess the uh, idea how to find out competency score this grade x is allotted by the external agency which is a professional expert of the professional body then kpi mapped we have written here and competency score is found here the sample calculation is mentioned here for example pco number 4 65 is the score grade allotted by the agency then 4.1.1 to 4.1 1.4 are the kpi mapped then how this 5.8.5 uh, is calculated it is here so 9 is a percentage contribution of uh, 4.1 because all these kpis are belong to 
so it is 9 as per the previous table. KPI weight for 4.1.1 we have defined is 0.2 as we seen in earlier table and 0.65 is the grade allotted in uh, decimal. So this value works out to be 5.85 and the total of competency we are getting 60.3 which is called proficiency because based on these four levels. Hello, I am Akhil Joshi and I will be talking about a short student survey that we conducted as a part of this paper. The students and alumni who have participated in Society of Automotive India competitions namely Baha, Supra and Tiffin were the respondents to this survey. Uh, we covered the following points regarding development of problem solving abilities during these competitions, their relevance in the industry when the student is working after his graduation, exploring whether the exploration of these PSAs took place during the hiring process, the perspective of students on a comprehensive performance score that we propose and uh, will it help uh, during the hiring process. The response of the students, an overwhelming majority agreed that the PSAs are enhanced through these competitions. However, these PSAs are not explored fully during the hiring process. The students are in favor of a performance score that will map their abilities that they showcased in technology competitions and if it aids the uh, technical hiring process much better it is preferred as these competitions are uh, taken part in and they demand a lot of time and effort by the students it is only justified their efforts be recognized and rewarded as far as results and discussion is concerned we have found that the mapping matrix to case and KP is very useful so that the competency score can be explained to the H, um, uh, HR professionals or hiring agencies because mere technical interview will not satisfy the purpose as many authors and uh, HR professionals are talking about. They need some detailed approach or detailed analysis of the problem solving ability of students. So results in, uh, in that particular case the competency score will be very much helpful for the uh, employer to assess the students problem solving skills as also we found that more than 90 percent of the respondent in the survey agrees that the problem solving ability in real world setting is enhanced and therefore these results are very much useful for the employer to conclude employers nowadays have a great opportunity to see the graduates actually performing the various activities during any competition. They are solving real life problem through the competition which has been given to them. So instead of concentrating only on the technical and the other skills which they normally get it through the examination and through their course, the other competencies which are not normally required for any employer such as teamwork, finance and other aspects are taken care during these competitions. So the skills that are required for the industry are easily inculcated in this in the students and so from that point of view the quantification aspect is taken care in this paper. A feedback from the students has shown that the attainment can easily be achieved through the various engineering competitions. Thank you very much for your time.